Hey, gang. <laughs> the Lex Beer Reviews here. Back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. Oh, my name's Dan. My name's Mike. And Dan, on this episode of As the Other Half Swirls, what are we drinking, bud? We've got a can of double dry hopped, all green, everything. Oh, from the, Danny boy. From the aforementioned other half brewing company. The other this, half is This called... one was brewed in Brooklyn, in New York. From glass to glass. And Six, containers in between. 16, 21. Oh, Danny and boy. And the lock code says, it's a FLX. We're drinking more other half. Triple. And India if I read the label out. correct, it's all green. Everything. 10.5 ABV. Mike, let's talk about the beer. Please do. Uh, what's uh, what's going on with this beer? This is a super triple, double dry hop. I mean, this is a mouthful of a beer, it seems like. This was double dry hopped. And it's brewed with Amarillo. Okay. Motoeka, yeah, Citra, all right, and Mosaic. It's all right. We then double dry hopped it with Citra oh. and Mosaic uh. lupulin powder, huh? and they decided even to update their yeast strains on this one with a fruitier variety. Seems like a lot. I got I got a little pop quiz. <clears throat> if we were on like the dating show, right? You know the dating show. I do. Out know of the Amarillo. Motoeka, Citra Mosaic. Which would you say is my favorite hop is? Motoeka. Oh, I'm a sucker for that Motoeka. We won the grand prize. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, We're going on Bust that. out that Wait. sleeping bag that zips up together. We're off oh, to a yeah. camping trip, son. Woo! For that, for that three-day paid vacation in Reno, Las Vegas. because are camping in Reno? Like, they're not going to accept our double sleeping bag. All right. <laughs> All right, let's crack her open. Absolutely, man. Um, this is a this is a FLX beer, right? Uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Even right. though the lock code, if you look, it says it's FLX. That's what I was looking at first, but I didn't look at the symbol. You know what? This might be Brooklyn, or this? No, this is FLX. Is it? I was yeah. right. Uh, okay. Yeah, because the, the blue tab. How about that? I'm worried about it. So, uh, they did reuse the label with the Brooklyn thing, but it says it's FLX. So, yeah, FLX. That is a rich orange with just a finger of, like, fluffy bright white head. Joseph you know Kate. what kind of orange that is to me, Mike? That's coming off like a – it looks like a, a marmalade. Yes. Okay. Like an or orange blossom honey. You ever see that honey? Only yeah, it looks honey. like a jam of marmalade. Yeah. Right. So a, I'm a trying to swirl. I'm trying to swirl, and this thing is just floating on top. Like, you see this little crater? Yeah. It's, Cratery it's like, bubbles. It's like when you when you cook an egg, and the yolk is just starting to set, and it jiggles and wants to go somewhere, but it doesn't. So it's like, I can't wait to try this egg beer. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of got a whiff of it already, so I, I feel like this is going to be a potent beer. So well, let's let's get a whiff then. Let's get a whiff, bud. Oh man, you smell that sweet maltiness right off the bat. There, there was a of the triple. <clears throat> man, get your hand over that thing. It doesn't help with my freaking terrible sense of smell. Yeah, there's, so a weedy, there's a weedy component. Uh, there is. I, you get the citrus aspect, but there, there's definitely the, the vinous, like weedy nature behind it. Yeah, man. It's like it, a, it, I, it almost, I, I picked it, a bouquet of grass and dandelions with like, and it was right by the marijuana plant. What I smell. Yeah, it, it definitely kind of overpowers any. Uh, any fruit aspect you might have, I'm gonna swirl and pour a little more in there just in case. My terrible sense of smells kill me. And it's a good smell of beer. Again, it's it's kind of muted. Um, but I'm getting, I feel like it's... I'm getting a bubble gummy smell too. Are you really? Yeah. Okay. I think that's I, that sweetness. I feel like it, like when I get these subdued, 
uh, noses on the beer. I feel yeah. like this is the foreshadowing for like a great mouthfeel to come. Okay. Like, right. let's, so let's I'm excited to dive in. Yeah, let's do let's it, bud. Taste. Cheers. Cheers. Well, that is just a soft, pillowy, flavorful, good time. Very soft, very creamy, very creamy pillowy, as, as you said. Uh, oh, All right. It, it's sweet. It's malty. Uh, everything I was getting on the nose, like I'm still getting uh, a bit of that, that greenness. So everything that, is present. The, the grass and dandelion and... A little bit of marijuana bouquet wrapped in one. Uh, the sweetness reminds me of. Now, when I say bubble gum, Mike, uh -huh. it's not the actual. Do you mean bubble, bubble gum, or do you mean no, like no? It's like car uh, engine smell. No, no, it's it's like that that chalkiness that you got on the the big like league chew. Pack? Oh, no, the, like big league chew. You know how it had that chalky white sweetness on it? Oh yeah, big or like. What is it? You get the big uh, tub of the uh, bubble double gum. bubble, double bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double uh, bubble. That yeah. that kind of sweetness of the bubble gum. Okay, I, I get what you're saying. There, it's like that. That there's a powdery aspect to it. Mm. it. It seems very contradictive because it is a juicy beer, but there is that powdery aspect. So I I I'm personally getting like I only pour it a little bit in there. Like the juiciness of like the fruits. And the, the bubblegum sweetness is just it's a bit overpowering. But at the same time, uh I'm getting like peach peach rings, apricot. I'm getting the gummy peach rings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah gummy. That's yeah, what I'm definitely. Getting. There you go. Like the gummy peach rings, the candy Those gummy, gummy peach, peach rings. rings. With that, with that bubblegummy powdered residue, with a bit of like apricot, like, like a not a not a fresh apricot, but a very over ripened apricot. Okay. With a bit of not cantaloupe, but like the honeydew, but yet again the over ripened honeydew. Not fresh. Yeah. It's when you cut the, the melon open and there's that real dark colored, almost watery aspect. And you let it sit in the, the fridge melon. in the Tupperware container yeah. for a few days. Right? Mm -hmm. um, this drink's on the lower side of triple, I think. Yeah, I, I'm getting, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit thick body. It okay. is, but it's it's like the the lower end of triple and the high side of double. Now, it's really, right on the doorstep. Now, here's what I'm getting a little bit too. Uh, I'm getting like a grassy lemon lemony bit to it. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Take a sip okay. and just let it sit on your tongue and just let waterfall on the back. Okay. Well. If I learned every anything from TLC, they told me to not chase waterfalls, and I feel like I'm getting the same flavor on that as I am everything else. Yeah. It's definitely the melon, the, the sweet, the, the candied yeah. fruit. See, the, every every fruit you get, like I would say, I'm getting some candied orange too. Okay, I'm I'm getting the peach and the melon. Big yeah, time. but but it's all candied too. It is. It's a very sweet it, it, it's beer. an over ripened candied, very sweet beer. But I freaking love it. <clears throat> okay. I, it's it's borderline too sweet for me. It is a good beer. Okay. Like, don't get me wrong, this is a good beer. Um, it is a sipper, very much so. It doesn't it finishes pretty it's not dry or anything. Like you can sit back. Let it rest on your palate, get all those flavors, enjoy everything it has to offer. Then you can go back for another sip and probably get the same thing and maybe something else. Um, so what do you want a, more then? What is I, it lacking for you? 
I don't think it's lacking. I, I just think I'd like less of the candied aspect in this beer. I, I, I think I like more of the, the bitter, pithy rind. So it's aspect. lacking bitterness then. Yeah. So it is lacking something. Sure. Yeah. You're right. There you go. Uh, I will say it's, it's almost a curse of the triples though, where they, it, you, you have to come in knowing it's going to be a sweet beer at a triple. Yeah, I do. And that, that, I think that maybe that's what I meant by it's not lacking anything because I think this beer, it, it wouldn't, it'd be doing okay. a disservice to if, be if more you're, bitter. If you're it drinking, needs to be that candy sweetness. If you're drinking this blind, do you know what's 10 and a half percent? I, I would probably be getting up there, maybe not quite 10 percent, but I'd probably be getting like eight and a half, nine cause because it, it, it's drinking that way. I, I want to bring up the fact that even though I know it's a big beer, I'm also saying that's where it excels in hiding the booze a little bit. Okay. Like at any point, are you getting like the hot burn, like the the chest burn from a lot? Oddly of booze? enough, for the for the can on date, no, I'm not getting any hot burn from this thing at all. What, what about like that booze burn? You like you know how you take a shot no. of whiskey or whatever? I've been waiting for it the whole time, and I'm not getting any of it. No. Yeah. Uh, I guess at the end of the day, man, uh, I'm give it a, a four or five. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to give it a four and that's a lot of personal preference. It's a little okay. sweet for me, but I think what it it's doing exactly what it should be doing. Um, so take my rating with a grain of salt. No, I mean, don't, if you like a sweet candied, everything candied fruit, candied, uh, uh, well, it's got the greenness, but like I said, it's, it's more of a, it's more of a bouquet floral, yeah. Lion grassy effect, but it, it doesn't have a lot of bitterness. You're getting more of the notes of it than the actual burn of the bitterness of yeah, the green aspect. Uh, yep. It's a solid triple, though. Um, yeah, yeah, it is a solid triple. At the end of the day, it's still, it's still a pretty good. If everything triple. we mentioned is what you're looking for in the triple, absolutely pick this up because this will hit all your check. I'll tell you what, who boxes. loves this triple is this fruit fly that's stalking me. Is that right? Yeah, I have a fruit fly stock in me. <laughs> now you're not. We're not getting any berries in this beer, are we? Because I'm. I'm. I'm not. No, no berries. Berries is an illusion. Berries. Don't okay, just check them. Beer. Just check them. Nuts. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. So a very solid beer. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Mike. Mike. Tell them what's down below. I got to enjoy this beer. Um, I feel like we've got some uh, some links down below if you want to get a hold of us on the uh, the Twitters, uh, the Instagrams, the Untaps. We're always checking in beers there. Uh, please get a hold of us. Let us know what you think of this beer. Uh, have you had something <laughs> like it? Do you want to talk about other beers? <laughs> oh, We're boy. always checking in beers there. <laughs> I'm checking in beers. Mike's got a whole case of beer he hasn't checked in. What are you fucking nuts? You know, that's why I said it, right? Uh, yeah, I know, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Whatever. You, you know what? You know what's stopping him from checking in? He's got that one can of Jenny Colts you realized was a fucking five, but he doesn't have the balls to put it on there. Uh, oh, so, the scale doesn't go with high enough yeah, for the Jenny Colts I had. This so, yeah, you want to get all of us? Eh, it's a long review. I don't care. You're, don't he- you're here. You're here with us. You are the FLX Army, and we are your generals. <laughs> and we salute you. And your shorts. Cheers. See you.